Hi YouTube, happy Saturday. It's a pleasure to share with you what I think will be the most exciting video yet of my Samsung Q1 Ultra UMPC series. And that would be this video where I show you how you can upgrade both the RAM and hard drive in your Q1 Ultra after opening it up. Now what I want to point out is that opening up this is not really trivial. The simple part of opening it up is just removing the battery uh, from this side. This is the back cover of the computer that goes something like this. Anyway, so first you remove the battery, which I have sitting over out of view from the right side. And then what you do is you remove seven screws. There's five that are under the battery that are revealed once you remove it. Two small screws here here, there we go, you can see that uh, screw hole there, here and here, and then three large screws on the right side, as well as two large screws on the left side and these deep inset holes. That's the easy part. What's hard after that is unclipping the case. There's pressure clips on the right and left sides where I'm pointing here, and on the top and bo bottom more, you know, towards the center of the larger part of the panel. And that takes a lot of work. It took me probably half an hour, and in retrospect, it took me half an hour to take this apart the first time. This is now my second time taking it apart, because I didn't realize you need to remove the stylus that comes with the device from the bottom in order to have enough wiggle room to get the bottom part of the back cover off. Anyway, so I just wanted to point that out. Um, that it takes quite a bit of work to get this open, but I think what was really critical was knowing you have to have the stylus out in order to remove the back cover. That said, I'll go ahead and move this aside. Uh, one fun Easter egg in here. I mean, it also says it on the normally visible part of the back cover that this machine is from November 2009. It was manufactured then. But on the... <coughs> Excuse me. On the inside, you can see a manufacturing date of um, August 2009. Anyway, so I thought that was kind of interesting. I'll go ahead and set that to the left here, <coughs> and we'll get to the main upgrade. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this into view, and then uh, zoom in. I'm showing you the device with the upgrade uh, completed. This is, I'll admit, the second time opening this up because I installed the hard drive wrong the first time, but I'll get to that next. Anyway, so the first thing I'll show you is, is uh, how you replace the RAM. Let me zoom in a little bit further here. We have um, new RAM visible. I upgraded it from one gig of DDR2 PC2 6400 RAM. I'll show you the existing RAM that came with this. Just set this on top. It's Samsung RAM, as you would guess. You know, it's a Samsung device. Uh, make sure to get DDR2 RAM. I don't think the speed matters. Just make sure it's DDR2. I happen to get an identical uh, PC2 6400 spec RAM, but two gigabytes as part of a two by two, you know, four gigabyte upgrade for, for laptops. And you can see the, the specs on mine here. This one is um, a Nania brand one. You know, you could get Kingston, Samsung, Nania, whatever is affordable. And I think it was $8 for two gig, which is a little expensive given how old this is, but you know, isn't too bad. Anyway, so to uh, remove the RAM, just like you on a typical laptop or desktop, you know, you open up those clips, and then this comes out at 45 a 45 degree angle, and then you can remove it to install. You seat it nicely at 45 degrees. Make sure the pins go all the way in, and then uh, keeping this little cord out of the way, you very very gently press down, and then you can hear that clip in. So that went in well. I'll get that cord out of the way and this little orange piece of tape secured. And there you have it for the RAM. For the hard drive now, that was, I'm going to zoom out a bit and uh, pan, I guess, 
Now, for the hard drive, that was a lot more difficult. So let me first set down in this uh, position the original hard drive for you to look at. It was a uh, 60 gig Ziff uh, Pada uh, spinning platter hard drive. That's also Samsung brand. This has Windows XP installed on it. I want to run Anti-X Linux on my Samsung Q1 Ultra, and the next videos will be about that. I thought I might as well upgrade grade to an SSD. I don't know about power use, but that will certainly be accessed a lot faster. Uh, when I took this out, I had to be careful not to disturb this cable too much that it connects to um, the microphone, I think some other audio components. So anyway, I'll go ahead and set that aside uh, just to the left here. Uh, that was the sound of tape. We had a, um, I had a little, uh, oops, that wasn't good. Um, yeah, I just stored my screws in this little spice um, container here just so I don't lose them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and set that to the side and then, um, so when I removed it, I removed uh, the ZIF cable, ZIF is zero insertion force. It did take a bit of force and finesse. I was very gentle with it. This is the ZIF ribbon cable. Um, I screw this up once because I didn't install the ZIF ca cable correctly and the hard drive wasn't detected. Make sure that you have the pins pointed upward, as you can see there. First you insert it um, in here to this uh, ZIF MSATA M M SATA adapter. First insert the, the cable with the pins pointing up and then uh, push down this little plastic lever here. I use the end of a slot head screwdriver but you know there's um, I think some plastic tools you can use that are more gentle and wider. What I had done even before installing this was putting my new hard drive um, into a uh, ZIF M M SATA adapter. Let me move over here a little bit and I'll rotate the device so you can see the details. I got a 128 gig um, hard drive I think for about 12 bucks and the adapter for 7 bucks so the whole repair is about $30 if you add up shipping and so on. Uh, Toshiba MSATA 128 gig hard drive again I'm planning to install Anti-X Linux on this and that's plenty of space you know it's more than double uh, what came with the device uh, anyway so the next step then after installing the uh, ZIF cable that I just talked about is mounting this in the space where the hard drive goes. You'll, you'll notice that it's smaller than, oops, uh, where the original hard drive goes down there. You'll notice that it's smaller than the original hard drive, uh, so it's not going to be quite as secure, but I'll just show you how you can use some packing tape to secure that in nicely. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead, I have a couple pre-cut pieces of packing tape. I might go ahead and uh, flip this around here. Um, oh, yeah, I put a little, um, what do you call it? Uh, I rolled a little piece of packing tape to help secure this on the bottom here. That that should be good, but uh, what you want to do is, is just take your packing tape onto the top of the hard drive, and really I think this is sufficient to keep the hard drive um, secure in here given you know how the case presses down on it and just go ahead and press that down very gingerly on each side so you don't disrupt anything and now you have your new hard drive mounted anyway so I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and get Linux installed on it uh, that will be the next video of my series but I hope this is helpful to you if you've done this upgrade on your Samsung Q1 Ultra and you have some tips to share please leave them in the comments down below like and subscribe as always and thanks for watching have a great weekend